But while he decides his fate, let us meet our second- This is a very well-made video. And main character, Rip Indra. Throughout these years, Indra has been like a brother to my game, helping him with games before he even got players. And just like my game, he's determined to make something great. So remember him for later. It's 2019 already? New year, new achievements, right? Well, not really. Because their main game randomly stopped updating. Players were getting it. Wait, why did it stop updating? Wait, 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 why did it stop updating? Did it actually stop updating? Why did it stop? Dating. Players were getting impatient, and with their projects fading away, you may think that my game and Indra gave up. But it's the complete opposite. Using the group they made for Parkour Sim, the two of them worked for months on a new game, Blocks Piece. Which is oh, they were working on a new game. Okay, never mind. Set to release in a month. The game is a combination of their last two, so it had to be good. And they knew the fans would love it. Wait, How it was called Blocks Piece? Blox Fruits was called Blox Piece? I didn't know that. How did they not get, like, sued? Would love it. How original. That game sucks. No. Just no. What about Elemental? Update Elemental. Can you update what? Elemental? What? Although the game wasn't out yet, players weren't happy. All they cared about was an update for Elemental Battlegrounds. Blox Piece's release can either go well, or embarrassingly horrible, making months of work and sacrifice for nothing. But if you truly want to be the best, you must always push forward. That always happens, right? Like, you make one bad game, and everyone's like, You suck, man! You made- You remember that game that was really bad? Yeah. <laughs> you suck, man. Yeah, I ain't playing your games no more. You suck, but- But then- you make a really good game, and everybody forgets about it. Everybody forgets about it. The people who made Doors, L Splash, they made like 10 other games before Doors. I bet you that not one person in the chat can name all 10 games, right? But like, because they made Doors, they're the best of the best of the best of the best. You know what I mean? It's 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 funny. It's funny how like people do that. On June 7th, Blocks Piece finally released. You cyber bullied these guys for money to buy fruits, which gives you powers in battle. The first players have joined, ready to adventure. Although their game was very simple, the pioneers somehow found ways to break it not even a day later. Like this guy rapidly switching his weapon, which somehow combines them. This may look like a bad thing at first, but these kinds of glitches make the game more enjoyable, which may help it grow later on. However, to be considered the number one game, it needs to achieve all these goals. If my game and Indra want that title, they needed to play their cards right. Instead of something basic like a new egg, they added new fruits to the game, each with their own abilities. And to make grinding more fun, they also added three new islands, and each with their own enemies, helping players level up. Progress was being made, but all these updates would be useless if people didn't care. Thankfully, the players had other goals in mind. With money, you can buy the best fruits, weapons, and fighting styles, which were very fun to fight with. So to keep the game more alive, players kept finding strange ways to make money.